Pioneers, this is your Way in the Sports update. I'm Akira Pena. And I'm Kathleen McGowan. Once again, Nazia Kathuka and Leandra Lee of Wayland Baptist have been honored as the NAIA National Men's and Women's Outdoor Track Athletes of the Week. The National Office announced Wednesday Kathuka and Lee were selected based on their performances from March 19th through the 25th. Kathuka, a junior from Nairobi, Kenya, broke the University of Texas at Arlington Maverick Stadium record and the WBU school record at the UTA Bobby Lane Invitational on March 24th. In the 5,000 meters, Kathuka finished first in a field filled with NCAA Division I and two competitors with a clocking of 13 minutes, 37.95 seconds. He shaved 19 seconds off his previous personal best and crossed the finish line 48 seconds ahead of the second place runner. His mark is number one this year among collegiate runners at any level. A senior from Tyler, Texas, Lee had a three strong efforts at the UTA Bobby Lane Invitational. For 24.41 seconds clocking in the 200 meters, is second best in the NAI this season and was eighth among a field of 59 athletes, which was comprised of numerous NCAA Division I and II competitors. She also took 16th in the 100 meters and the first leg of the 4x400 meter relay, which turned in the NAIA's top time so far this outdoor season. The Pioneer baseball team dropped to 12-26 to on the season on Saturday after being swept by Arizona Christian in their second doubleheader in as many days. On a day in which the Pioneers wore purple as part of their strikeout for cancer fundraiser, the Firestorm shut out the Pioneers 9-0 in Game 1 and completed the four-game series sweep with a 12-5 win. Working on three days rest and fresh off his longest collegiate outing of the season, freshman Caden Whitley received a nod for the home squad in the third game of the series against the Firestorm. The Lubbock Roosevelt High School graduate turned in a gritty performance working 6.1 innings. He struck out three while allowing seven earned runs on 13 hits. The shutout was the first of the season for the Pioneers, who had eight hits but left six runners on base. Dylan Chancellor and John Cheney each had two hits for WBU. ACU's Josh Dieter proved to 5-3 on the season, throwing five innings, striking out four WBU hitters. He did not walk a batter. The Pioneers will return to conference action Monday evening when they take on Archibald Lubbock Christian University at the Hayes Field in Lubbock. First pitch is scheduled for 6 p.m. Junior Darren Ells took second place honors and the number 14 Pioneer men posted three identical rounds of 292 to finish fourth at the Battle of Prime, held Monday and Tuesday at Prime Valley Golf Course. Wayland's 876 was just two strokes in back of the third ranked Grandview University, which finished in third place. Top ranked Oklahoma Christian, number two Oklahoma City, placed first and second with scores of 862 and 871 respectively. Ells sat in fifth place going into Tuesday's final round after recording rounds of 70 and 71 on Monday. On the last 18 holes, the transfer from Midland College fired at 69 to jump up three places and wrap up the tourney with a 2-10. OC's Alasdair Dalgleish took the individual title with a 208. The Pioneers are off until April 16th through the 17th when they compete in the battle at the Red River in Ardmore, Oklahoma. After two delays, the final round of the Oklahoma Baptist Spring Invitational was called because of heavy thunderstorms that were producing massive amounts of lightning in the central Oklahoma area. That means that Wayland Baptist women have won the first tournament of the 2012 season. The number 16 Pioneers shot a 324 on Monday to capture the title by six strokes over number 12 Oklahoma Christian, which wrapped up the day with 335. Host Oklahoma Baptist finished third in the tournament, carding a 342. Roger State was fourth, followed by Seminole State and Southern Western College of Kansas. The Pioneer women now have a couple of weeks to prepare for the Student Athletic Conference Tournament, which will be held April 16th and 17th in Lubbock. We had a chance to speak with some of our WBU golfers. Check out what they had to say. Hey Wayland Pioneers, I'm here with David. He's a sophomore and he's from South Africa. He's an international golf player here and so it's, we're very intrigued with the team. Who inspires you to play or what? Was it Tiger Woods, your dad, yourself? Uh, definitely have to say Tiger Woods. Um, I think he's the greatest athlete in the world um, and what he's accomplished in golf is unreal. So uh, definitely Tiger Woods uh, for me. It's just great watching him play and everything. And uh, yeah, he's been an inspiration to me and I'm sure a lot of other guys on the team. What is your biggest challenge in golf, would you say? Uh, probably the mental aspect of golf. Um, it's more than people realize is how much mentality comes into golf and things like that. Uh, 
So I think that you know you have your up and up and downs and things like that, and uh, the mental aspect really is a big thing in golf. Uh, it's something you have to overcome, and being positive and confident on the golf course is uh, it's tough sometimes, especially when you're not playing your best. But uh, yeah, it's definitely something that uh, I need to work on, and uh, yeah. Alrighty, well that's David, and we just want to thank you for your thank time. You. Hey guys, I'm here with Tristan. He is from Arizona and he's a freshman here at Wayland Baptist. What is your experience like playing with international golf players? Uh, well, it's definitely different from uh, what I'm used to growing up here in the state. But uh, it's been it's been real nice learning what uh, it's like overseas and what what it's like from the countries they come from and to see talent from all over the world. It's a special thing, a special chance for me. I'm here with Lindsay Birch. He's from South Africa and he's a freshman. What does he miss about not being back home? He's from overseas. Well, firstly, um, my family, obviously, which is my support group. But the other thing that I really, really miss is the beach, for sure, because with weather like this, you really want to spend some time in the water. So that's my number one thing. I'm here with Ali. She's from Hobbs and she's a senior. What is your experience since you've transferred from another university? What has your experience been like compare in comparison? Um, well, at the last university that I was at, I was the only girl on the team. So it's been kind of an adjustment to play um, for a team because I also played for a really small team in high school. Um, but it's been really nice. Like I've developed kind of a little family with the girls that are on the team. So I think it's been, oh, I could say that this has been better to have that. Yeah. I'm here with Ryan Connolly. He's a freshman and he's from England. Ryan, you are from England. Have you ever played at St. Andrews, the home of golf? I haven't. Unfortunately, I haven't. But Have you ever? Um, it's a little too far away for me to go play, but one day I have to go there. Well, being from England, what made you decide to come to Wayland or how did you hear about Wayland? Uh, I actually went through a program called Pro Dream and made a profile of myself and Coach Hart was interested in me and contacted me. Hey, we're here with Bradley Sennett. He is a graduating senior and he is from South Africa. So Bradley, as team captain, what do you feel your responsibilities are or what are your responsibilities as team captain? Well, uh, I have to be a role model to the team and uh, I have to ensure that everyone's uh, keeping up with their responsibilities and uh, just doing the things that they have to and uh, obviously performing to the standards that we set as a team and as a school. For Wayland Sports Update, I'm Akira Benya. And I'm Catherine McGowan. For more information, go to waylandathletics.com and remember to like Wayland Sports on Facebook. Go, go Pioneers! Pioneers.